dude, if this country was more like um, independent on manufacturing, it'd be beast, super beast. We'd be yeah. like insane. But the cost to produce the cars here is a lot more expensive than it is over there, right? Yeah. Yep. So how is that going to help the economy if it's more expensive to make the cars? Well, think about it like this. Mr. Economist. Car, cars would be more <laughs> expensive, right? So people would have to pay more, but then you'd have but more jobs. But people got no money. There's money. We don't have it, but it would give a lot more people jobs. We were to build cars that's all around the world. Like That's where the money would be coming from. Let's say Chevy, just for example, and you know, for argument's sake. Like they build their cars here, and it's like the next like fucking smart car that you know is uh, fucking solar powered and connects the internet and all this shit. And they start building here because we're manufacturing ourselves. And this goes worldwide. Like the amount of money that fucking company would be making, they would have no reason to not be able to pay their their employees. Yeah, but oh, you're saying like we export? Yeah, well, we would mm. export now. Obviously, we would sell here, but export. But as here's well. the thing: like, can't you just export? In a in a different nation and use less money to build these cars and still be worldwide. Yeah, um, but it would it would boost up our economy if we had all those manufacturing jobs. But they don't saying? care. I know that's the problem about the manufacturing. <laughs> well, if they brought that the shit thing is here, they, they care. It's just they want the cheapest route. Yeah, yeah. they want the cheapest route. That's why it's that's not going to help our economy. Why you outsource yeah, yeah. shit? It's the yeah. same reason why they outsource like fucking telemarketers. Yeah. It's cheaper to pay some guy in India. So to like, call if, they you were and be to, like, if they were to build the cars here, it's gonna be more expensive to build the cars here. Yeah. So they gotta make the car prices more expensive, right? Well, you'd think, yeah, unless they're losing money because no one's buying it. Well, it comes down to supply and demand. If yeah. the, exactly, so if it's more expensive, but if there's more supply than demand, they could lower the prices. If there's more competition, they could lower the prices. You know, there's ways to have lower prices. You have the the competition, like let's say Walmart, Target, Best Buy, like all these companies start selling cars, for example. Then the price will have to go because then now they have to compete with each other. Because then you'll be like, all right, well, Walmart sells it for fifteen thousand dollars, but I could get the one at fucking Best Buy for ten. And they're all making it here. And they're all making it here. Or you could just get it for eight at the company that's making it in a different place yeah but it, it could get cheaper than that place yeah. too like if there's a lot of supply and no demand the prices would probably go lower but like you, yeah corn yeah, yeah. for instance yeah like since we make so much fucking corn, no but i'm saying like just cars specifically the cost of labor is cheaper at other places than it is here yes so but that doesn't really mean that like that would have a have a um effect on it but they could still be cheaper i was just gonna mention like dude american cars are just shit you know, yeah, like they're that just, too. like like they're um, shit, dude. Like, I dude, love my car. Wait, are they? But, but but think of how much work you've put into your car. An amount. I, okay, so but okay. I mean, yes, high mileage. But the thing with the American cars is that our um, our like the 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 parts for the cars are dirt cheap. But why? Because yeah, why? They're just, they're just no. Don't we have that fucking NAFTA or North America trade where they we get the cars made here, but we get the parts from like. Canada and Mexico and oh, shit. Oh, is that why? I, th- I think that's what cars it is. for parts for my car are super cheap compared to if you had to get exported car parts. So like for me to repair my shit, it's easy. The thing is, Toyota might be a Japanese company, but those cars are made here. Well, then, then and, they're then you know parts Kia is Korean, be... but Kia has a factory in like what Georgia, I think it was that we drove by it. Yeah. So um, it's like, I mean, our engines apparently aren't as good as like Japanese cars and like German cars. Like they don't last as long. Yeah. But um, I mean, I feel like they've been getting better. Like uh, when I had a Dodge um, Journey. No, Dodge Caravan. Oh God, I remember Dude, that. You, I remember you, that. You you guys Dude, all know this. That was a those death big trap. Fucking uh, van. Those big Dodge vans. Yeah. That were like from the early two thousands. I had that, and I mean, damn, even that thing chugged along. Like you just repair some parts, it keeps going. Mm-hmm. The big problems with those specific cars were that the transmissions would go. Once the transmission goes, you get screwed. Because to replace the transmission, it's like five thousand dollars, and at that point, the car's not even worth that much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I remember. I know that was a big problem with Dodge, but I mean, I feel like nowadays the difference is probably a lot less. 